grub lovers who ready to get their grub on you know that i am it's your boy back again with another video for you guys and today we are going to put ourselves to the test you know i test people every day you know on uh on taste and presentation uh you know customer service you know things like that and i rate them based on my personal opinion and and uh, what I actually think about it. And then I, I give that opinion to you guys, still give you the opportunity to make the decision yourselves, but by also giving you some type of insight before you actually check these places out. So today we're gonna flip that. I'm gonna do a complete 180. And what I mean by that is today I'm going to put myself to the test, okay? Now you guys know I do dabble from time to time in spicy foods, right? Uh, but even then, there are still foods that may or may not be too hot for me. Now, I'm not sure what that is because I don't really test myself that often to say, all right, man, maybe I can handle this, maybe I can't. You know, I did one time. And, you know, some of you guys who have been here from the beginning may remember that. <laughs> don't take me as being sensitive just because I'm crying, okay? Crying. Oh, man. Uh, but, you know, actually trying to do this here is, is something different for me. But, you know, I like a challenge. So today I'm going to do a hot chip challenge, okay? And what I mean by that is I got some of the hottest chips here from different brands, you know, different types of chips. And I'm going to try them and see if I can take them. Now, back when I used to eat hot chips, they didn't have all of these different flavors. There was only one chip that was hot. And even then it wasn't that hot, right? But they've come out with so many different ones from hot to extra hot to hot flaming to atomic just whatever you can think of just to get people to say this is another level of hot so i decided to try one with different names and see which one is really extremely hot and you know some of you guys may like hot chips so i want you guys to have the best one out of the bunch right understand me i before i even get to the point where i may pass out i made sure i had my glass of milk because you know, I, I can't sit here and, and, and be thirsty eating hot chips. But I know at the same time, when it comes to hot food, you know, milk always seems to calm me down. So I made sure I had that before I even started. So let's get into this. Now, first one I have, and the reason I got this, I'm going to tell you too. This is uh, the Walmart brand, right? And this potato chip is called Burning Hot. Now, I got this because you guys know how I am when it comes to brands, right? I'm always for the little guy. I'm always for the guy that most people won't try, and I'll be that guy to try them. So this is burning hot. This is the Walmart brand. Uh, so I'm gonna put them to the test, man, and, and, and see just how hot they really are, if they're really burning, right? Next I have the Ruffles. So I got the flaming Hot uh, from them. So we'll see. I mean, it seems like everybody's going after the, the hot pepper, you know, because it kind of gives off that idea that maybe it is really as hot as this pepper, right? So I'm gonna definitely try it out now. They have one pepper and, you know, Walmart have three of them. So if we're going off of appearance only, you know, then I'm already leaning towards Walmart, but we'll, we'll get to that. So my next one I have is also called uh, Flaming Hot. So the funny part about this one is, if you look at them, both of these, look close okay so you see where it says flaming hot you see that little guy right there and if you look at this one you see the same little guy right there so it kind of puts me in the, the mindset to say I wonder if they're gonna taste exactly the same if they're made from the same person um, but I think it's based on them being made from the same company so that's no problem they probably trademark the, the sign but at the same time when you look at these you don't see that pepper that you see in this one so I don't know. Again, if we're going off perception, this one could be the hottest, this one could be next hot, and then you'll have this one that may or may not be as hot. So, we're gonna try them out anyway. Last but not least, we have the Doritos Blaze. Now, uh, I'm not sure how hot this actually is, but they went ahead, they got the, you know, uh, the chip on fire. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump on these and, and Try to see which one is really gonna be the one that puts me to the test. So I'm gonna start with the Walmart brand first, just because out of the perception, this one scares me the most. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this one first and let you guys know how it is, all right? So you know, it's not open, so you can't say I put whatever I want in there. Mm, you can smell it, you can smell the heat, all right? Let y'all see what one of these look like. 
Check that out. So, go ahead and try that. Damn, that's hot! Okay, it's hot, okay? Now it does take a while before it gets there, but once it gets there, it's there, so, okay. Definitely hot. So I'ma definitely say on my scale of one to 10, one being the least hot, 10 being the hottest. I give it, I give it a seven, okay? The reason I'm giving it a seven is because at the same time that it gives you that hot at the end, it doesn't stay very long. So like right now I have a milk, I'm kind of good. I, I can still continue to eat this. So it's not so hot that you gotta stop automatically, you can't eat anymore. It's hot enough that you can eat and still enjoy. So that's definitely a plus. You know, shout out to Walmart for that one. If you guys ever want a hot chip that you can just eat and enjoy, continue to eat, get the burning hot from Walmart. All right, on to the next one. I'm gonna try the Ruffles Flaming Hot. Okay. Okay. All right. Let you guys look at this one. Check that out. All right. Okay, so first off, let me say it surprised me for them to even try a hot chip with ruffles, but they did. And to be honest with you, it's not hot at all. Got so, it. I think for them, it was more so to give off the perception that it was that hot, like I told you guys, but it's not. So as you can see, I don't even need a sip. So I would say on the scale of one to 10, like I said, least, least hot is a one, most hot is 10. I give it a two, if that, maybe a one. I give it a one for the for the design. That's the best they get. It's not hot at all, okay? Oh, that's cold. So, if you guys ever want to tell somebody, hey man, I'm eating hot chips, just to kind of give the impression that you are, then you can get this. Other than that, they're not really hot at all, okay? Let's go to the cheese puff, man. Right. These look like they might be pretty hot. Okay, check that out. Damn! So, this might be pretty hot. Let's see. Okay. So the thing about this one is you can actually taste the hot as soon as you put it in your mouth as far as breathing in um it's not too too strong but you do taste a little bit of lime in it so it's kind of like it's a little hot but it's a little sour too so it kind of offsets the heat a little bit but i would definitely say um you can definitely taste the heat coming from it it is hot but it's not that hot so as i first said i gave a seven to walmart one for the ruffles one out of 10 for uh, the Cheetos. I don't know, I give it a four, okay? Again, like I said, you know, Walmart, they, they set the tone. Right now, I haven't met or had one that really has matched up to it um, out of this bunch. So I definitely say Walmart's holding strong right now, man. So we got one more left, guys, the Blaze. Now, I'm a little skeptical about this one because all of these say hot somewhere in it. This don't say it, it just say blaze. So it's kind of leaving it up to you. So let's see. Ooh. Yeah, one of these, let you guys check it out. It almost just looks like a regular Dorito, but let's see. Okay, well, let me say this. 
it takes a little while for you can for before you can taste the hotness, but it does have an, uh, a hot aftertaste. Um, and it does hold a little bit longer than the last two. Um, but I would definitely say on a scale of one to 10, I give it an eight, man. So Walmart, you done met your match. So you guys know if you're looking for a hotter chip out of the bunch and you see these on the shelf, man, the Doritos Blaze, man. They're definitely the hotter of the four. After that, definitely the Walmart. After that, the Cheetos. And I probably wouldn't even get this one just because I don't know if it's just the coloring of it, but it's not hot at all. So, shout out to them. Shout out to all categories, man. If you guys uh, like hot chips or like spicy things like I do, man, definitely try these out. You won't be disappointed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Until next time, it's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.